guys, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft, and today I'm sharing my January 2021 scrapbook haul. A um, bunch of new scrapbook stuff that I got that I'm going to be working with this month. First of all is a Project Life album by Becky Higgins. Doesn't come with any pages, but I have my own page protectors. A bunch of my layouts that I've already completed and that have been sitting on a shelf uh, since the beginning of this year. These are all 2019 pages. I'm so way behind, but I'm glad that I finally got an album so I can start putting some of this stuff away. Of course, the album is already full. So now, oh, and I have this stuck on it. So now I need to... Um, kind of go back through all my other layouts and figure out how many more albums I need. Um, but I'm, uh, albums are expensive, so I'm taking it one step at a time. Um, anyway, so let's just keep it with scrapbook.com stuff. I also got... I didn't get too much because the album was kind of expensive, like 20 bucks. I got more mounting squares, so now I can actually scrapbook uh, with uh, the pictures and the supplies that I have now, which I'm kind of excited about. I also got some more uh, thickers, sweet pea thickers. These are foam letter stickers um, that have a nice little shine to them. I really like the foam ones as opposed to the, the chipboard uh, thickers. Um, these just stick a lot better, and they're really pretty pink color. And then something that's been, I, oh, what I was kind of doing was going through my wish list that I have on scrapbook.com and starting from the bottom and working my way, my way up to the top. So there are some older collections that I'm, that I purchased. This is the Pink Fresh Super Cool Ephemera. I just really liked it for general things. Um, a lot of different, a lot of different pieces and word phrases and stuff like that that you can use for anything. I think. Um, so that's kind of why I picked it up. And it has some of the same colors as you'll see in some of the pages that I've got here, some pinks and greens and blues. Um, I got two cream colors of basil cardstock. It's actually color is called cream puff. And it is a little bit textured on this side, not so much on this side. So if you, if maybe I, depending on what I want to do with this, if I'm going to do mixed media or anything, I might do the smooth side. Um, from the Simple Stories I Am collection, the Limitless page, which is this cool uh, checked print and then butterflies on the other side. The Blooming page, which is a pink like ledger type style and then flowers on this side. The Strong page, which is this beautiful uh, yellow with a kind of a light cream pattern, perfect for the basil cream puff. And then stripes, colorful stripes on this side. Um, from the Cartabella Family Family Night collection, I didn't really like a lot of the patterns in this collection because I didn't think they, they were too specific. Um, I didn't think they were really going to go with the photos and, and whatnot that I have. But I did like this navy green uh, solid piece from the collection because it can go with anything. And it's always good to have just some solid color cardstock in your stash. From the Fancy Pants Cherry on Top. This is Flavor Burst. I really liked the, the Starburst. And then this has a little bit of a, a mixed media thing. So it's kind of like a ready-made background right there. I mean, I love the Starburst, but this is, you know, like I said, ready-made, ready to go. Um, I really love the words here. All the different flavors of ice cream in different colors. Uh, there's some red, brown, coral, yellow, teal, blue. This is called All the Yum. And then this side is just a fun um, light blue on the background with a white dot and line pattern. Also from Cherry on top, this is the Sweet Floral page. Um, and it has um, flowers on it and then some red and white stripes on this side. Um, and that was all I got from scrapbook.com. So I'm going to set that aside because I also made a paper issues order. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I got from Paper Issues. Again, not a whole lot um, because I knew that buying the album might put me over my budget. <laughs> if I actually have a budget. I don't really, but I, you know, I feel bad. I feel bad sometimes buying scrapbook stuff when, you know, my kid needs new underwear. But anyway, so I did get some. Check out this beautiful color. This is the Dina Wakely, Dina Wakely. I actually don't know. Uh, gloss Spray and Ocean. That's such a beautiful blue color. I have a navy blue um, and I have a, a sky blue, but I don't have this really cool bright blue. Um, and then pairing that with the Photo Play Heart and Home Cardstock Ephemera, which I really like the colors in here. We've got some reds, we've got some navies, we've got some greens. Um, could be good for fall themed layouts, could be good for some of your 
if you're still doing quarantine <laughs> type layouts. Um, and you'll see the colors on this are going to go together with some of the other papers that I picked. Ellie Studio Cozy Chipboard Stickers. Love the rainbow. And then again, some of these colors are kind of the same. Uh, there's a little tag here that says Hello Autumn. So this is, of course, supposed to be sort of fall themed, but I kind of like both of these collections for just anything in general. All right, then we got some papers. So this paper is actually from Pretty Little Studio. It's uh, the Miss Sadie Rose collection. This is rose bush. So you've got the black and white roses on this side and then a cool striped uh, pink and white on this side. Freezing season from Simple Stories. This is the sweater weather patterned paper, which is a super cute, super cute pa pattern. And then sort of like a, it's kind of pinky. It's not like a red red um, with just white dots on it. And I actually think I might add this to my counterfeit kit for January. Simple Stories apron strings. Um, I'm not totally loving, this is the four by six elements page. I'm not totally loving the four by six elements, but I do like the flowers on this side and I can probably end up using like, so this could be like a border or something, or I think I have some photos of um, like my daughter baking, helping me bake cookies around Christmas. So I might use that for this. Um, photo play heart and home. This is home sweet home. Um, a cool little pattern here in kind of like a a forest green and then some heart, uh, some chairs and books and all sorts of other elements that you would also see in the ephemera. So some of these pieces make their way into the die cut ephemera. I mean, I don't, this side isn't my favorite. I don't, a cat on the chair. I'm not a cat person, but this side I definitely love. I'll be using that one. Photo play. This is linens from the Heart and Home collection. So you've got a really nice green with some cream circles. A great for that cream basil that I got. And then I love the stripes as well um, on this side. So that's going to be fun to work with. And then photo play Heart and Home fresh cut flowers. So a nice red with, um, is it black or are they like brown? I can't really tell. Mm, it's not black, black. It's sort of like a blackish brownish, like the mascara color that I use. Brownish, blackish, I think is what it's called. And then some pretty flowers on this side. Um, I have more from the Apron Strings collection. This one is the homemade paper. So black with different colored tiny flowers and then aprons on this one. And I do actually have a photo of my daughter wearing an apron and a chef's hat. So you might have to use this for that photo. Apron Strings Season with Love, your basic uh, kind of cream and yellow stripe. And then you've got uh, mushrooms and flowers on this side. I think I'm more of the, the stripe, stripe side. And then this apron strings, which I actually might throw this into my counterfeit kit challenge as well. Um, we'll have to see, but it's got, this is the what's for dinner page. So it's the poke, sort of that polka dotty thing on this side. And then all these flowers um, on this side. So those are all the, actually together, these two things together, um, lots of papers, decent amount of embellishments, you know, uh, not too bad. And I actually have another paper issues order that's on the way um, because <laughs> UPS is very slow and it's shipping right now. Um, I don't know where it is, but hopefully I get it soon. And if I get it in time, I'll also come back in or maybe do like a part two or I'll come back in and add my ex the extra stash to this. But I think this is a pretty, this is actually a pretty decent kit, both of these orders together. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working with for the month of January. Let me know in the comments what products you are excited to scrapbook with right now. Um, and give this video a thumbs up, like, and click subscribe so you don't miss out on more scrapbooking videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.